Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of The Chitty Chef. Today we are making banana bread. I hope it's good. For ingredients we have two cups of two and a half cups of mushed bananas, two eggs, half cup of butter, that's a tablespoon or a teaspoon of baking soda, quarter teaspoon of salt, two thirds of a cup of brown sugar, and two and a half cups of all purpose flour. This all looks pretty easy to make, I hope it is. Today I am drinking the Einstock toasted porter. And I think with the banana bread, it'll go together very well. Take your baking soda, add it to your flour, as well as your salt. Add that to your flour. And we're gonna give that a nice little mix. Make sure you wash your hands. Next, we are going to add the butter to the brown sugar. It's going to get messy ladies and gentlemen. And you kind of want to make like a dough I guess out of this. Okay. Once it has kind of a creamy consistency, you want to add the egg and all your mashed bananas. I wish I had gloves, but we all know you can't buy gloves during this time. By the way, I tasted just the butter and the brown sugar together. Oh, so good. Just give this a mix, give this a whirl. Once that's all mixed up, you want to just add it to your flour. Oh, there's a lot of sugar down here. You want to add it to your flour, baking soda, salt mixture. This is probably going to stick on my hands forever because when I make bread, it's always like that. But well, let's see how it goes. And you want to just mix it. It doesn't have to be a lot, but you want to get it kind of just all mixed together, I don't know what I'm saying. Now, for the pan, we can, which one is right? Should we have our bread taste like vegetables? Use vegetable oil or olives? Use olive oil. That was a trick question. We're gonna use butter. So I have melted some butter already. I think that should be good enough. And with a napkin, I'm just going to help it get into the, all the nooks and crannies. You just kind of wipe it around. Like that. Perfect. This thing comes out tasting like butter, I'll be very, very happy. Pan is buttered. And then just pour it all in. You might have to give it a hand. I think so. I probably could have used a spoon instead of having to wash my hands again for like the millionth time today. But there you go. This is gonna go into the oven at 350 for about an hour or so. But I almost forgot the most special ingredient, these nuts. I smile every time I say that. I'm just gonna layer some on there. And by layer, I mean just top it. By the way, this is the most expensive part of this whole thing. So you could say this is gonna be some really decadent, over the top, crazy good, hopefully banana bread. Banana bread. 
The oven has been preheated to 350. And it goes. Now we wait. So never mind the edges here, which are a little dark, but make sure that's in frame. Yeah, looks good. Go right down the middle. Oh man. Or maybe. I think it needs more time. It looks like all the stuff went to the bottom. It's just this one little piece that isn't fully cooked. So I'll just put it back in the toaster oven. But. Tastes like banana bread to me. It actually tastes really good. I enjoy it. With a nice quarter, it goes down pretty easy. All in all, pretty good.